Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. This is. Uh, welcome. I hope you can hear me. I hope you Oh, I I can hear myself and I can see myself. That's great. Things are going great right off the bat. Hi, my name is Old Man More Days. I mean, my name is Josh. I go by Old Man More Days. I'm a community ambassador uh, for Crusader Kings Three. And yes, yes. Uh, today we're going to be taking on the reigns of Duchess Matilda of Tuscany. Everybody loves Matilda, and. Jacob is not here with me today, and I totally didn't usurp him and scheme against him. Totally not what happened. Jacob is fine. fine. Everything is okay. So we don't got a lot of time, but we got a lot to do. So we're going to go in, and we're going to choose our, our dear rags to riches character. <laughs> Seems legit. That's right. Uh, Duchess Matilda. She is a lifestyle character. He's totally not in the dungeon. That's right. So, oh my goodness. Phone is just beeping. Got to turn that stuff off. I also apologize to everyone out there if I got a little hoarse at time. My, my throat's been a little itchy. So, here we go. Some of this brand new stuff. Uh, Matilda's uh, marital <laughs> dilemma. 11 years ago, my brother, uh, my mother, not my brother, I know it's CK3, but it's not that CK3. My mother. Beatrix orchestrated my betrothal to Gottfried the Hunchback, my stepbrother. Okay, it, it is. Uh, and the son of my mother's new husband, uh, Duke Gottfried the Bearded, uh, through the alliance with Lower Lothario is advantageous. Uh, is this truly the future that God envisions for the prestigious House of Canosa? I must take action to safeguard the future of my lineage. And so there we have, there's Matilda, there's Beatrix, there's Duke Gottfried the Bearded. You can tell he's... Is the one with the beard. And here we go. Uh, this is our, our beloved husband. <laughs> there he is right there. Uh, he's, oh, not only is he a hunchback, he's, oh, wait. We have four options here. Jesus died for our sins. One more won't hurt. That's a fantastic option, but it's not the one we're taking today. We are more learned people. Uh, we're, uh, there's going to be characters to work with intrigue later on down the road. Uh, I will avoid him till the day I die. Uh, you abandon the marriage. You break out the betrothal and everyone gets mad. Uh, with a divorce, uh, sorry, while a divorce is impossible, I still hold sway with the Pope. Now you see Matilda starts out with plus 5.1 piety per turn. Piety, piety. Uh, and a thousand piety banked up, which is great. So we could actually say, spend 100 piety, 
uh, we turned that marriage into a matrilineal marriage and Gottfried the third gets a little cranky about it or we could just go I accept to my lot in life by choosing a patrilineal marriage you risk a game over as your children won't be of your dynasty that's a terrible idea so we're gonna say well a divorce is impossible I still hold sway with the Pope there we go <laughs> all right so we got a lot of things going on here first off we're gonna go in here I always like to make sure we do this uh, we'll station the Arbored Footman first. I think there's a, a place here that gives a plus nine. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then we drop these archers over here to get uh, a bonus three. Uh, we'll just stick you all the way up here. And, yeah. Uh, and the pikemen! The pikemen, uh, it doesn't. So there we go. There's, there's that. There is that. So that's great. So we got a couple options. First off, Bay Homage, because we are part of a, a larger thing, the Holy Roman Empire, and this would mean we would go and say, oh, my liege, uh, we have come to pay homage to you. We probably will do that. Uh, we could also petition our liege for things. I do that as well. But there's a lot a lot to go on. But first, we're going to go into our lifestyle and we're over here in learning. We're going to uh, continue... We're going to continue to do a theology focus. As it's in character. All about that roleplay. Uh, so already we see uh, under Scholar we got uh, Pedagogue and Open Minded. Which uh, helps our, our raise children and raising of children and our uh, other cultures I do believe. Yes, cultural acceptance. Uh, then we have all of the illusion, which is fantastic. Because what I think we're going to do is make a new religion. Because the old one is not great for us. We are going to make a new religion that is going to help enshrine our people, uh, our family line, and hopefully spread it. Uh, we have lots of things starting off that can help spread religion. So, for example, uh, convert faith in co uh, country, progress speed plus 25%. This is a big one here, profit, uh, faith creation and reformation cost minus 50%. That's a really good thing. That's going to give us a huge discount on that. And religious icon, uh, convert faith in country. Uh, the time takes to, is no longer increased by the faith if it has a higher fever, uh, fever than yours. So that's all, all really good. And we're going to have a lot of stuff that's going to make it easier for us to change our religion and make some drastic things to it. Now, I happen to know to get the changes that we're going to want, we're probably going to need maybe 1,200, maybe 1,500 uh, piety for sure. So the question is, what are we going to do with all of that? So... I think it'd be a wise idea to pay homage right off the bat to our our dear our our our, our, our great emperor. Uh, that's Heinrich. Yeah, Heinrich. Heinrich the Fourth. There we go. Get him. So roguish. Uh, okay. So we are going to do that. It's going to cost us a hundred uh, uh, prestige, but it is a smart idea to do. Uh, we are just going to we can bestow gold. Hmm. I'm gonna save my money. Uh, he'll he'll just have to deal with it. Okay. Uh, so first off, we can see that there is some danger. Oh no, it's so dangerous. Uh, so that danger is coming from mountains. So first off, what we're gonna do is hire a mountaineer. Boom, danger mitigated. We're gonna get ourselves a good caravan master, a uh, Gerhard uh, uh, Ragoni. I apologize, by the way. If if you guys have beef with the way that so many of these videos are being pronounced, it's it's this guy's fault right here. I get so tongue tied all the time. There we go. We're gonna point that there and look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I don't even think we need to hire extra. There we go. Uh, now, what I like to do. Because we're all about learning. Oh. Maybe after we're done. I like to customize our room. After we're done in Klingenberg, we are going to actually take a quick pop off over to Asian. Uh, it doesn't increase our... <laughs> it's going to help us increase our learning. We're going to do it. Uh, so there we go. There we are. Uh, we're going to just speed this up. A fresh start. All packed and proper. Uh, there we go. I can't wait. I'm not going to read everything. I'm used... Usually I read everything when I'm doing my own stuff, but uh, I, I can't do that. Now. 
We're on a time limit. We got an hour. We've entered Regency. Uh, local hero, we're going to say, uh, cast down that heterodoxy. There we go. That gave us actually some deity. It was nice. Uh, travel lowly delicacy. I am the Duchess, and I want a bowl of stew. Uh, the food was amazing. Excellent. We had a good um, uh, meal. A foreign treat. Um, okay, we're going to allow... Or actually, we're going to say we have no time for such a juvenile. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll welcome them both in our court. It's going to anger the local... No you have to be kidding! The one thing that could really screw us over right now is if Matilda, because she has no kids, gets sick. And we are... There is a Holy Roman pox spreading. That doesn't sound great. Uh, anyway, let's seal this tent and have this witch burn. There we go. Good job, Matilda. You're doing great. Very educated. Uh, we've arrived at the the capital. We got 600 uh, uh, diplomacy lifestyle experience from visiting the capital, and yeah, Heinrich is like, "All oh, hail the Kaiser," uh, and he's pretty pretty happy. Uh, I'm fluent in high German, so we don't get delayed. Uh, duel demanded. Uh, Gerhard, show 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 this vagrant what's what. Good good job. Excellent. And there we go. 200 diplomacy lifestyle. Wolf struggle. I am... Gerhard! Gerhard! Get... Deal with the wolf. Oh, no. Reversing the plays of the... Oh, God. 33% chance to die? Okay, you know what? We've asked Gerhard three times, uh, twice already. This is the third time, Gerhard. You know what to do. He's going to throw himself at the oncoming assassins. And he is dead. <laughs> he was a real trooper. Uh, congratulations, Hedwig. You get the job. I'm sure it won't be. It won't be bad. Uh, so who's this? This is Helfrick, one of our knights. He's pretty angry. I'm going to get uh, Hedwig to deal with it. going to scold that knight for being improper. My husband is uh, causing problems. He's uh, swaying. We're going to swing the scales right back at him. We're going to leverage our prestige. Ugh. We can ask for an intercession from the Pope, which is hilarious. Just pay gold. You know what? It's not that much of a power sharing. He hasn't even gotten to the first level. But we're almost home. Call the road. I'm truly free out here. That's right, Matilda. Wild spirit, yo. Metal man. Consider it gone for a price. Get that weak hook. And we are back. Okay, so. Got a couple things we can do. We can petition our liege. We have been invited to attend a grand tournament. That's really nice. And I'd love to maintain strong relations with hope uh we're actually instead of going we're gonna just start swaying the pope it's not a great sway chance but it's ours let's see i do need a court position we will uh just appoint the bishop of tuscany we can ask for money from the pope not gonna do that you know what better do it now because he's probably not gonna give it to us afterwards so we will uh, dip into the bank of the Pope. Oh, interesting that doesn't pop up here. He won't do it. Oh, he's, he's busy. He, oh, he spent all his money on his friggin' tournament. Now I can't get money from the Pope. This guy. This guy, am I right? Oh, let's create an accolade. Uh, let's have... Um, yes, you will do. You will be the horn blower of the Duchess Retainers. That's perfect. That's that sounds like a glorious, glorious thing. There we go. I like re I like that. Uh oh, it'll go, it'll it'll kick back up again here in a bit. Now we could use our uh our relationship with the Pope to get claims on Lyon uh or Aragon. Which is uh, ruled by Sancho. Uh, we can also get claims on France if we're really inclined and feeling frisky. Uh, we also the Alfonso uh, Navarra. You know, there we go. Uh, oh, we can get claims on the entire Holy Roman Empire. Ah, huh. he's a little strong. But the Pope likes us so much, he's like, you know what, Matilda, you are the Holy Roman Empire.
I unfortunately uh, don't know anything about what's going on in that regard, uh, Cyphex. Uh, all right, let's let's go. We need to get our piety up there, and the surefire way of doing that is here's our little. There we go. Let's go on a pilgrimage. Awesome money. We're gonna go on a pious pilgrimage, and I mean we could go to the Vatican. We could. That seems like seems like a doesn't seem that great. We're not going up there. There's a lot of illness over there. Why don't we take the opportunity to go to Santiago? It's a respectable list. All right, we've got some dangers on the road coming from... Oh, that's the Mountaineer. Mm, that's fine. Uh, we'll hire a, a mercenaries as well to reduce the risk. There we go. Now, on our way over, we're going to customize our route. Uh, we are gonna go to Pisa. We are going to go... Oh, look at all these great places to visit. We're gonna go here. And here. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, make sure we're, we're ticking all those boxes. And look at that, right after Santiago, you can go over here, and I think, oh yeah, right there, that's no excess danger, looks pretty groovy, all right, let's go, uh, we are going to, oh, we can't adjust the fidelity, uh, but we can increase the pomp. And increase our piety reward. There we go. Can't wait. Let's go. Hopefully our husband is coming with us. No, he's uh, staying home as a regent. Means we're not probably going to get uh, babies. Uh, all right. So uh, we're going to use this. Uh, our pilgrimage is for Pius. He died. I told him. Ila et hora nemo sict. Hmm. Yes. Anyway, let's go. We're going to increase that speed. Look at that. Uh, so we got a new diplomacy perk. This is one of the best things about going through all the uh, uh, different locations. Is it gives you an opportunity to unlock perks that aren't your main focus. So I'm going to grab a friend. As it's a, she's going to need all the friends she can get. Can get. Uh, quarrelsome lot. I'm going to try to get these guys to calm down. Uh, I convinced them to reconcile the differences because, you know, no one, no one messes with Hilda. The Trotted Path. Oh, Ant Path. Um, we'll take another path. It's not that big a deal being delayed. Heinrich's plague is uh, spreading. What's a little rain? We're going to stand out of the rain and we're going to stand out of the final download crusade in case you can. So this, uh, this is the upcoming Legend of the King, uh, uh, Legend of uh, CK3. So stuff, it is not the, this build that we're showing is not out yet and nothing, uh, everything might not be finalized, but uh, yeah, it's it's good stuff. Uh, so we're gonna stay in out of the rain and 24% chance of getting sick. Earthly contemplation, ooh. I'm gonna be, I will make the most of my time and I will determine. Nope, got some existential dread. Uh, I'm going to bribe the po uh, po uh, Pope. Send him some money. I don't know. Oh, my knight's in a wrestling match. Hmm. I'm not sure how she got pregnant. She hasn't spent much time with her, her hubby, but... You know what? <laughs> we'll, we'll call it a... Oh, dear. the mailman that's right uh we're gonna follow the duck it's, uh, we're gonna say the duck's a good omen we've walked the holy path
probably don't need to draw your dagger. That's right. That's right. Ah, oh, you guys give me. Apparently, sorry about this. All right, I will translate this for everyone. Now we've gotten so much piety, so much. It's fantastic. We're gonna criticize this as being a not very authentic relic. Another learning perk available. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna grab a posse. Mm-hmm. All right, time to pray. Lord, may this baby be a child that can carry on my family line. Anyway, Santiago's been an hour. That, we are now, like, that is a lot. 3,200 piety. We're going to be able to construct a great religion. Probably the best one. My son and heir. Uh, we are going to name him. After my father. He grew up strong and wise. Got going over here. Better get a wet nurse. We will get this experienced wet nurse. No, nothing is too good for my boy. Chivalry has arrived. Alive. Uh, I will be more personally chivalry. Alright. Uh, no. Matilda, keep it together. You're not going to flirt with everybody you find on the road. My caravan master is dead. I guess we... No one wants to be our caravan master. They just keep dying. Uh, we'll get Vendetto. Be our new caravan master. The walls of Genoa. There we go. And we were returned. It's good to be home. All right. Well, we got a lot of stuff we could do here. The first thing... Look at all these clean. Yes. That is crazy. Well, we're going to reform our religion. So, to reform your religion, first off, you click your little religious button right here. And then you can say create new Christian faith. Uh, we are going to choose a name of Tuscan Formers. Reformation. There we go. Adjective. Former. Uh, single follower. Former. Many followers. Formers. Um. Changes around here. There we go. We're going to get a new symbol. We'll pick. Mm, mm, this. No, not the upside down cross. Uh, we're going to re remove arm pilgrimages, and we're going to go down to legalism. No, not legalism. Literalism. That's right. You can debate other lords of the realm with the cost of opinion, gain or lose piety. Uh, we're going to remove mon monasticism, and we are going to replace it with... What is it? Religious law. Yeah, rulers with high learning may condemn their sinful vassals. All right, excellent. Uh, our color will be hello. So first off, we're gonna go equal, equal religions. There we go. Managed to get the uh, House of Hotfell on the throne of Africa by influence from the first grade in that direction. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, all right. Anything else we want to change up here? Our religious attitude. Righteous. Pluralist. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do righteous. No, we'll do pluralist. There we go. Uh, th uh, head of faith spiritual. There we go. Pilgrimages, uh, encouraged marriage to 
force, bastardization, all looks good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can become more progressive as we go. Let's see. Male adultery is crime. Female adultery is done. <laughs> Witchcraft is accepted. There we go. Kings playing close criminal. Uh, clerical function control. Uh, we are going to say clerical function. Clerical gender. Uh, either. Clerical marriage. Allowed. Funerary practices. Ooh. Bailing your cremation. I mean, let's go funky and go mummification. Do we want to go? Let's go mummification. Let's let's get a little wild with it. Uh, clerical appointment. Temporal for life. All right. There we go. Let's create that faith. So a lot of it. Mummification. That's right. Uh, so our sins are pretty much what you'd expect. Uh, lustful, deceitful, sadistic, vengeful. Our virtues are chaste, uh, honest, compassionate, forgiving, but also astute intellectual and scholar. We're going to create that faith, and we still have tons of fighting. There we go, the reformer schism! The world will see that God favors us. So, let's take a look. We need to create a head of faith at some point. Rome does not contain, we need a holy site. And the Vatican's right there. <laughs> we can't take the Pope. Can't we? No, we can't take the Pope. No, no, no. Okay, let's see where oh, where are these other holy sites? Santiago, huh? Now this guy's probably you know, a little cranky with us. Clear me your regent boy! Oh, he'll totally accept. That's amazing. Uh we are going to start swaying him. Stop swaying the Pope. The one that we need to be worried about right now. We are going to score ourselves an alliance. Now, first off, I do want to try to carve out a bit of Italy. So we're going to go over here to our council, which I've kind of ignored. Not going to lie. Maybe wanted to do this a little bit better, but I didn't. Uh, I mean, they're, they're not bad. They're not bad. I mean, powerful vassals at every position. A nine is our worst, except for this guy. We can just hire him. No. No, we can't. Not at this point. But we might get rid of him. Eventually. You know, there's ways. So, he sadly is going to try to fabricate claim on Ravinia for us. 19 months of that nonsense. Now, we're going to need money for the upcoming wars, right? Petition my liege. Transfer a claim title. Vassal. Ooh. All right. I'll do that. Don't need those. Uh, we do need those mercenary guards. Get those mercenary guards back here. So we're going to go and talk to Heinrich again. Fresh start. Can't wait. So we've got our religion. Uh, I'd love to start spreading it, but the guy is just not great at it. Uh, oh, he's like, no, no. Uh, fair offer. Oh, he wants a weak hook. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll get that weak hook. And there we go. We are going to grab scientific. Oh, that's me. Locks. We are going to get, let's see. I mean, legitimacy is a good one to take. Kind of thinking about that. Uh, but if we want to go smarty pants. Not a bad option. Christian. I don't know. Law is also another good one. We are uh, the, uh, the, the, the Duchess of Law and Order. 
This would event. Yeah, we're gonna go this. We're gonna mostly fair. Plus five popular opinion and hunts and feasts cost less. Uh, hunts and feasts can be used to try to keep people. Now we got a we got a legend. We got a, 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 a holy legend. So why not spread that legend about ourselves? All right. So we are going to need court chronicler. Good. Our <laughs> we'll get our bishop to do it. Uh, and he is going to stole. We need it upgraded. How how much do we need? Increase the quality. We're gonna need hundred baronies. So we'll start it off extolling the domestic legend. Now I don't think we have. have anyone who can fill these rooms. All right. Travel hard workers. Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna apply these principles at home. I mean... While we're here, let's just take a pop over Veniza. Those points. Oh. Hold on. Also got... Other places we haven't visited. Might as well, might as well do them while we're out and about, right? Necessary embellishments. Uh this is for our legend. I am going to let the story grow naturally. Uh, we are going to investigate this derelict ship. Find nothing. Smurge! Uh, let's see. Mark. This is interesting. Lame stigmata for 20 years? <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, yeah, I did. I did have a bit of that stigmata. You always get instant holy wars when you try to start new religions. I I think it really depends on how you're starting your new religion and what your current situation is. It is like right now we're the vassal of the Holy Roman Empire and the um what's it? that thing that thing you know the the the, the vizier the uh the, the region the region of the Holy Roman Empire. So you know it's good works out well. Uh, we're gonna gr great opportunity for some learned conversation. Oh, travel to the haunted manor? No, I'm not. I'm not going to a haunted manor. You can't make me. In the service of the Lord. What are the va advantages of staying as a vassal, or is it best to get free as soon as you can? It really depends on what your goals for the game are. Because Crusader Kings Three, you really set your own goals and dictate your own history. I've played incredibly fun games as a count with like one or two uh, territories. And the goal was just to play the politics and make sure the King of France didn't take away my incredibly valuable territories that I was building up. So it really depends on what you're looking for. It's very situational. How dare I'm married. Apparently Duke Gottfried and I are soulmates now. Right. At least he won't scheme against me anymore. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we need accessor for this. There we go. How things go? Nine months left, and we will have our claims on Ravinia. Now, I can declare some war. <laughs> I could declare a war on Duke Robert the Fox. I'm going. All right. He gave me a chunk of Lombardy. Mm. Lombardy sure looks nice. 
Careful petition. Ah, oh, what a pious soul I am. Right, I'm very pious. Pious. Whispers of witchcraft? Oh, heretical thoughts. Oh, I gotta be honest, witchcraft is okay in our religion. Really? Did, okay, I guess... Julio. Julio. You're in. Cool. I can create this duchy now. That wouldn't really do much for me. All the war. Oh, the bearded guy. Oh, some of his peasants have arrived up. All right, fine. I will all the way up here. Are you guys in like? Oh, come on, you guys. Oh, okay, no, they are in trouble. All right. Um. Okay, a faction kit raided against me. First off, we're gonna go and take a look. Oh, more peasants. It's okay. Peasants. Let's see. Our core position is so bad. Why? Why? You know what? You got it, it still got the job. Alright, we are going to raise our troops here. You remember? Oh, yes, a great occasion. Ever remembers my glorious deeds. All right, let's do our part. Oh my! I'm a coming, father-in-law. Oh, he's he's uh, changing his taxes taxes because I owe him a favor. That's all right. Land cultivation. All right, see it done. <clears throat> Money. I'm a coming, I'm a coming. The Tuscans are here. Never fear. Oh, come on, what? <sighs> Another war. This guy, man, he is not having a good day. All right, we're uh, we're gonna go to Luxembourg. Uh, very interesting. Great. Uh, thank you for the dear updates. I'm gonna uh, ransom Mayor Johansson or whatever his name is. Spreading the word, I'm gonna say, oh, this is for this guy. So he is wrathful, arrogant, lustful, driven person. Ra uh, the <laughs> Tuscan Reformation can also be a tale of revenge. Yes, I guessed it correctly. Oh, well, I tried. Legendary Tipple, oh, he wants me to drink, drink, drink. It happens, you best believe it. I have a terrible cold right now. Shy drinker for 20 years. 10 years. Uh, I, I got a terrible cold. Brewing troublemaker. That's a boy. Already three. The time flies. Oh no! And he's a hunchback! Alright, lovely, but keep your tooth as a good... Actually, we're gonna... Okay, so this is... This could be silly. I'm gonna give my kid 20 gold and get his tooth. I'll keep the tooth. If I was a more cynical parrot, if I was more cynical, I could go and sell, break the tooth and get 40 gold. But I'm not gonna, I'm still higher in. This terrible, terrible person, just so my things don't degrade as much. All right, uh, that war, okay, let's go on over here and kick these bums out of here. Okay, they're, they're actually doing quite well. We're gonna need our father-in-law in good fighting shape. Worthy? I'm not sure anymore. I'm gonna reflect on this. 
Searching for answers, only God's opinion matters. There we go. Yes. All right. Um, right here. Fourth and roving. First and roving. That little scoundrel. Isn't that great? Double guest. Ah! Uh, a, our notable guest has a uh, claim on Apulia. Sort of distant relation to Robert the Fox, probably. Hey. Don't run away. I'm just here to defeat your armies. Um, oh, snap! Uh, Godfrey died! From... It is sleep! Oh, no! At least the memories remain. Uh, we're gonna have to have a funeral. Okay, call the troops off. We're, we're headed home. Actually, can we, we end this fight? Maybe we can end it. There we go. Excellent. Disband all troops. We have to have a funeral for our soulmate. Only too late in our life did we learn... Ah, oh, yes, and the plague. How bad is that? It's not great. It's in Tuscany. So, first off, we are going to... We get a lot of stuff to do. We're going to tell our court physician to... Our terrible court physician... Troll the plagues. We got some, uh... Folks here, we can ransom off at least one. And we can. It does help us lose stress. No, no, no. We're not going to execute anyone. How did I get this little window for the holdings? Oh, this is the outlier. Uh, outliner. You just got this little a little shield up here. Click it on and off. A lot of information. It also, if you go to a character and you're like, I want to keep an eye on this character, you've got this little pin here. The pinned characters will appear up here as well, and you can close that out. If that's what you're talking about, Ghost Pain. All right. Uh, I'm going to take... We're going to switch to a medicine focus. Uh, uh, but we are going to kick off Skull Loser. All right. Oh, that's so bad. Why are we in disease town? At least we have a kid, right? Right? Uh, I know I should be entering seclusion, uh, but I mean, really, I should have a, a funeral for my husband because I loved him very, very much, and I get to make a mummy. So we're gonna have a funeral. We're gonna have it right here. Mm -hmm, the deceased. Oh, I can't have it for my spouse. Someone else must have had it. Oh, that's. I don't want to bury my husband and pluck out his eyeballs and brains and stuff. Oh, well. Do we want to do a grand tour? Not while the disease is going on. Uh, we are going to go... How much is this going to cost us? 90. 5. All right. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna save up some cash. Sweaty infiltrators. No, I don't have any money left. Not today. We'll wait to see if somebody else important dies so let's form an alliance Ooh, we can form an alliance with sicily all right so we're gonna form an alliance with the fox it's gonna be great All right, so we have an alliance with the fox, which is going to do very well when we decide to go after this guy's territory. I mean, we don't even probably don't even need it. Foxy Bob, that's right. Uh, so we're going to go after this territory. We got claims on his land, and we want it. Try to yeah. go beat them up first. 
Most haunted! I know exactly what to do! Oh my god, my son's... My son's milk tooth has the haunted quality now. It gives 30% boost to dread. Pry this from the kid's mouth! Right? 50% war score. Let's go on over here. Raising rumors. You there! Okay, we're going to take a quick peek at our legend. Only in 10 baronies right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to commend legend abroad. Get it, in a, get it outside of the territory. Oh! Foxy Bob's dead! Well, uh, I'm not gonna spend any money to recover from an illness that barely impacted him. We're gonna ran uh, ransom Mayor Falco because we are about to, to go into the negatives. And I'm pregnant again! Isn't that lovely? We're gonna let the kid, uh... Let the kid go and spread the legend. Got some angry peasants. Come on. Now we could speed this siege up, but I don't think we need to at this point. Racing mouths. I'm gonna give them my two. All right, I'm gonna offer him some financial investment. He's unimpressed. There we go. Enforce the man. So be it. We get four. Four territory: the Prince Bishop, the Barony, the city, and uh, the other city. Ah, uh, fantastic, glorious. Disband all. We got some legitimacy. Out of that, there we are. Now, we are well over. Increase my current authority. Oh. Can't really help me with that. He's really good at chivalry. We'll have him help with chivalry. But we need to actually start thinking of passing some of these titles out. We can create this duchy, and I will create this duchy when I have enough money. When we get enough cash, we're going to create that duchy, and we're going to give it to one of our loyal... Well, no, can't give that to a loyal vassal yet. Uh, what we're aiming for is Italy. We need three more titles to get Italy, plus cash. Faction, uh, created against me. This is an actual faction that I should be worried about. What's your problem, man? Your problem. Rob. Pretty weak. Demand him convert. Go. Now. He is... He left, but somebody else joined the Liberty Faction now. Uh, and he's already a member. Uh, I can, I can debate with him. Literalist debate. All right. We need to bait him. Deal, bud. Oh, it's because I'm over my domain land. I gotta start passing these titles out. That's what I gotta do. Let's grant this to... Let's see. No one in our family. Just people who really like us. That is really the qualifier right now. Husband? No. Start with this guy. We need to go down three territories, so we're going to give this guy three locations. Excellent. He likes us because of that, and there we go. Great debate. I lost. No, no, I won. Am I not beloved by God? There we go. Uh, that, that did piss him off. Look, 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 look. Let's, let's, let's put that debate behind us. Let's become friends. I'm going to befriend this guy. I should befriend the hierarch, too, when I get enough. 
My goodness. So, I don't know if we're going to get uh, Italy today. Heresy. No, 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 no. Divine power, divine from God. But I would like to finish our legend. Let's see. Spread in 11 baronies. I can complete this legend right now. We're a long way off of getting the uh, uh, 90 other territories we're going to need to uh, increase the quality. So I think we're just going to complete it right now. And yeah, I'll be quite content with that. Here's the end of the book of Duchess Matilda and her miracles that were famous of all reformers. Uh, Almighty God, may I pray for your blessing upon this book. Tuscan Reformation Victorious. There we go. So be it. And there is our glorious, glorious relic. Now we can get enough money, we can commission that into an artifact. We are going to respect and admiration. Yes. Uh, peasants! Rally the troops. We got, we got, we got peasants. Oh no, uh, do no more than necessary. Good. At least our terrible doctor's good for something. These peasants are just knocking on a door right now. Let's just raise our men at arms. We only need our men at arms for this. He's a little fast. Peasants. Here we go. Got him. So be it. Enforce those demands. Excellent, so be it. So because of her strong starting position, Matilda was able to quickly recreate a new religion and enter into a stable, permanent relationship with the current uh, emperor. It is pretty important. Now, there were a lot of other routes we could have taken. We could have gone after the Holy Roman Empire itself, created a couple of, uh, had some kids, created a couple of really good and strong alliances outside, and then just dogpiled the Holy Roman Emperor and taken it over for herself. Um, uh, hey, it's truly heartbroken. Right here. Issue my liege again, but I'm not going. Uh, all right. Powerful vassal does need a uh, council. Uh, yeah, we'll let this guy go to make a friend. Good, we made friends with him. Excellent. We're gonna replace our spy master with our powerful vassal, who's also a better spy master. Let's see, designate a guardian from a boy. And Hare is in line to inherit a couple titles, including Lord Lafrenia. Huh. So when this guy dies, my son gets all that territory. As it was, uh, as the only male heir he had was Gottfried. Bet you wish you converted to our religion now. Your daughters would be holding that. Do another pious life of Duchess Matilda. Hey, what's going on? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Checking my time, because unlike my own streams, I have to make sure I don't go over on Learn on the job. I love this one. 20% of your counselor skills get transferred to you. That is very good. So you'll look here. Right now, I'm getting plus two uh, because of plus two uh, because of my vassals. Plus one. Plus six. My spouse. Plus three for my... Anyway, it works out really good. Troubling translation. I'll have a look. I'm very smart. I can help translate that text. What's better in your council? A really high stack guy or a powerful vassal keep you happy? Again, a dapper historian. That is a real situational thing. Uh, and it can boil down to your personal roleplay preference as well. I am... Man, okay, so I do want to... I'm going to commission this uh, legendary artifact. 
Oh, maybe I don't get an opportunity to do so. Well, that's fine. In seclusion, blah, 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 blah. All right, what we're going to do then is we're going to take that money. We're going to create this duchy over here. And are going... That gives us the ability to go after these territories. Beak. And... So we're declaring two wars at once. We're going to bring these guys down here. We're going to raise all our troops this time, not just our, our men at arms. And we're going to do a little stomping. You can raise my boy. Or that won't go badly. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. One war done. Force those demands. Legitimacy increases. So be it. Excellent. Come on. There we are. Other victory. This band also be it. Now we got a couple things we can do here. First off, we're gonna grab that perk. Sanction loopholes. Sanction loopholes is so good. That's the buy claim interaction. So we can just go over here and be like, hey. Uh buy claim. Boom. Spend piety. Get claims on locations. It's really good. Um, and had I been a little more focused, I would have uh, tried to do it before the end of stream. Oh, so close. We are very close to forming Italy. So what we're going to do is we are going to... He has no vassals. We're going to go buy claim. Yes. We're going to do the same to this guy. We're going to go buy claim. And now we have the claims on them. Try to do this really quick. We're going to declare war on you. We're going to declare war on you. We're going to raise all our troops. Did I not declare war on you? I must have got confused. All right. Oh. We're gonna assault the fort. Keep things up a bit. There we are. Enforce demand, so be it. Wonderful. Now! Now, if you go here, you can see we are rapidly approaching the point where we can uh, create Italy. But! That is, uh... That is probably as far as we need to take the Duchess Matilda today. Did quite good. You can see astute intellectual is a uh, uh, a positive trait in her. We managed to. We weren't going out for land grabs, though. Creating Italy would have definitely been in our our, our capabilities in this time. I decided to focus more on uh, expanding religion and playing with uh, piety and stuff like that, which is something that uh, Matilda is very good at doing right from the get go. Uh, she secured an heir and has. Uh, a lot of territory that's going to come into our next character, our next character, our son, while he is going to struggle a bit because of um, his attitudes and physical issues. He's going to have a lot of territory, and he will easily become the king of Italy. 
So yeah, I wanna we made a legend. A legend of uh Matilda. Already gone. Oh good. Oh, armory break in. Yeah, yeah, hold on. And yeah, I think things went really well. I'm quite pleased with it. I really enjoy uh, how intellectual characters play. I, I played a lot of uh, intelligent and pious characters. My nice guy runs in CK2, and I, I continue to do that in CK3. So it works out really well, especially for new players who want to not focus on military conquest and want to focus more on the, uh, the, the religious side. But there's a lot of other things you can do, including cultural uh, advancements, uh, the tech trees of Crusader Kings 3. That's all in there, too. Plus, the, the protection of disease. Now, if you guys haven't checked it out, you can go to our, our site, The Legends of CK3. I don't have the link for me right in front of me, but we do have the site for it. It's posted all over our socials. Definitely go check it out. You can take a look at the things that are being highlighted. And, yeah, in general, I think things look really good today. I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out. And we will be back next Friday for some more Legends of Crusader Kings 3. So yeah, thank you guys, and uh, I will put my alarm off before it irritates you all. Take care, have a good one, and uh, 